It is confidently reported that there is, in the following lake, fishes which differ in nothing from mankind but in the want of speech and reason. This was written as part of the definition for mermaid in 1736 in the most popular English dictionary of the 18th century. Let's go to raremaps.com and take a look at what this quote was referring to. If we search mermaids, dozens of maps pop up with mermaids depicted. Let's take a closer look at this 1658 map published by Robert Walton. If we zoom in on the continent, we see a lake with the words, Where ye tritons and mermaids are said to be. Other maps of Africa from the period actually have images of mermaids and mermen. This was what the excerpt out of the dictionary was referring to. The definition continues with, Father de Pavia, a missionary, being in the kingdom of Congo in Africa, who would not believe that there was such creatures, affirms that the queen of Singa did see in a river coming out of Lake Zaire many mermaids something resembling a woman. Lake Zaire can be traced back to the 2nd century in the writings of Ptolemy. It likely appeared on his maps as well, but none have survived. The map you are looking at here is a reconstruction from the 15th century, based on his descriptions. He cited the tales of a Greek merchant named Diogenes, as well as other travelers who claimed to have journeyed inland from the coast of East Africa, and saw two great lakes and snowy mountains that fed the Nile River. Lake Zaire eventually evolved on maps, until it was shown further west and the source of multiple rivers. It turned out that Lake Zaire didn't actually exist, at least in its final form. It may have originally supposed to have been what we call Lake Victoria or Lake Albert to its northwest. Lake Zaire began to disappear on maps beginning with this map by a French cartographer in the 1700s. But the River Zaire is real. Today, it's called the Congo River. And this is the river that mermaids were allegedly seen by the queen. And this definitely wasn't the only reported sighting from the period, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's take a look at a few other maps first. Most maps with mermaids appear to be mostly for decorative purposes, especially ones placed around the margins or title. From these depictions alone, it's tough to tell if some of these map makers actually believed mermaids existed. There was a bit of skepticism on the existence of mermaids in Europe at the time. To reference that dictionary one more time, the definition starts with, Mermaids where it has been thought they have been only the product of painter's invention. But then it's followed up by a list of five different sightings across the world and ranging from the years 1187 to 1531. Other maps show mermaids in the ocean, but are vague in their location like this map of Southeast Asia by Abraham Ortelius in 1572. In the Pacific Ocean, two mermaids are drawn. At least one mermaid is holding a mirror, and in the other is what some believe to be a flying saucer, but I think it is probably more likely a shell or maybe it's a mirror as well. Let me know what you think it is in the comments below. This depiction was copied from Diego Gutierrez's 1562 map of the Americas. Though most of these images don't reference specific sightings or provide a specific location as the Africa map, they were probably a reflection of the many reported sightings. Some of the most famous explorers of the Age of Discovery claim to have seen mermaids. Christopher Columbus, while sailing near what is today Dominican Republic, claimed to have seen three mermaids, and wrote that they were not half as beautiful as they are painted. John Smith allegedly saw a mermaid in the Caribbean as well though he apparently felt a little different about their looks than Columbus had, writing that the mermaid was by no means unattractive. Smith's original writings on the mermaid have never been found, though, and the secondary source made some errors, including the year Smith would have seen the mermaid, so it's possible Smith never actually made such a claim. Henry Hudson, during his search for the Northeast Passage, wrote in his logbook, One of our company, looking overboard, saw a mermaid, and calling up some of the company to see her, one more came up, and by that time she was come close to the ship's side, looking earnestly on the men. A little after, a sea came and overturned her. From the navel upward, her back and breast were like a woman, her body as big as one of us, her skin very white, and long hair hanging down behind, of color black. In her going down, they saw her tail, which was like the tail of a porpoise, and speckled like a mackerel. Their names that saw her were Thomas Hills and Robert Rayner. Today, it's generally believed that what these explorers were seeing were sea creatures that we now know to exist. 
but we can thank these alleged sightings for continuing our obsession with merfolk even to today, and for giving us these cool decorative maps. Personally, I think we should start putting these creatures back. Thank you RareMaps.com for supporting this video. RareMaps.com is an online antique map shop with over 10,000 antique maps in their inventory. Most of the maps you saw in this video is for sale on their website right now. But their descriptions and high definition images are what makes many of these old map videos possible. So they are also just a great place to browse and learn more about old maps. Again, that's RareMaps.com. And that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching.